So as we continue on towards lunchtime, you see how those clouds still kind of hang around. They'll gradually break up, especially after lunchtime through the afternoon. You see there we get some more of those breaks, more clearing heading into the evening, and that should be enough to get our temperatures at least into the lower 60s. I think many of us will actually reach the middle 60s, especially the farther north of Kansas City that you live. Right now, 37 in Maryville, 41 in Kansas City, 45 in Belton, we're at 43 degrees in Lawrence, 43 in Chillicothe, and 42 right now in Marshall. Sedalia is at 47. Later on today, we'll top out our highs, as I mentioned, lower to middle 60s. A little warmer in Maryville, we get a little more sunshine, about 66, 64 in Kansas City, 66 in Belton, 66 degrees also for Lawrence and Sedalia. We'll top out right around 64 degrees. And let's talk about your forecast this evening. If you're going down to Power and Light, you're going down to the Sprint Center, the final of the Big 12 tournament should be a great game. And some pretty nice weather, too. About 64 degrees at 5 o'clock, 58 as we approach 7 and mostly clear, and about 55 degrees at 9 o'clock. And if you're coming in from out of town, this weather, not so typical for March. It should be a little bit cooler than this. But hey, get out and enjoy that weather if you can. And looking ahead to your next several days, we'll see our temperatures warming up tomorrow. That wind will pick up as well. 72 your high temperature. On Sunday, lots of sunshine tomorrow. 77 on Monday, so warmer, windy. I would avoid any sort of outdoor burning the next couple of days because of that increased fire weather risk, low humidity, high winds, warm temperatures. And then on St. Patrick's Day, we're back to average. 56 our high temperature. Next seven days, we've got some rain chances coming in as we head into your Wednesday and Thursday, especially if you live south of Kansas City. Highs a little bit cooler, lower 50s Wednesday, about 58 Thursday. And then we're watching some potentially cool air to come in on Friday.